Hi guys, good evening. Yes, it's the evening and um, I have just actually arrived from work so I'm still wearing my work shirt and the shirt that I'm wearing was actually given to me by one of the hosts. Uh, his name is um, Kim Atienza. We call him Kuya Kim here and this shirt was actually custom made for him to be worn in one of the segments on the TV show that I work for, Mars for More. So uh, I'm so happy he gave this to me and I really love it. Um, when I saw him wear it for the first time, I really told him like, Kuya Kim, I really loved your shirt. So he gave it to me and I'm so happy. Look at that. It's so cute. Pars is like the colloquial term for like a good male friend. Um, but anyway, the reason why I'm starting my um, video like this today is because I just got home and I got a package from Beautylish and this is actually um, a new brush that I purchased and this is from Sonia G and it's actually her Buffer Pro brush. So let's unbox it together. <music> So yes, I got myself the Sonia G Buffer Pro brush. It's a very beautiful brush. I have been wanting to try this out. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to wash this. And tomorrow when it dries, let's talk about this in detail. So I am now cleanly shaven and the Buffer Pro brush is now dry so we're going to be playing around with this today and I'm so excited because I have not tried this yet. So this vlog is going to be like a first impressions kind of a video and maybe I'm also going to be showing you guys a little bit later on how I envision to use this brush. Now the Buffer Pro brush is actually not a new brush from the Sonia G line but it's been redesigned so the original brush is actually named the face one brush um, so it is the one that had a thicker handle design so it originally had a handle like this similar to the sculpt one brush from Sonia G on her fundamental line set but now it has the pro handle now um, I do have to say I don't mind um, the change in the handle. I actually prefer her brushes to have this thick handle. It's just a personal thing. And also sometimes when I hold a brush, I have a tendency of holding a brush like this when I'm applying um, product on the face. And it's just more comfortable at the palm of my hand. While with her pro brush handles, it's a bit sharper and I can actually feel a little bit of more pressure on the palm of my hand when I am actually using it but it's no big deal like I mean I can adjust to it properly anyway now speaking of handles there are some of us who are actually quite sad that um, most of her original brush handles the one that comes in a thick handle like this is disappearing and she actually wrote about this in an article back in October uh, I'm gonna put a link down in the description box so that you guys can read it um, the reasons why she's been redesigning some of her brushes and i do understand the reason why because from a production point of view it's actually much more cheaper and effective and efficient to have one design being produced all throughout because um you know as we understand it there are only a limited number of 
artisans who actually create these brushes and after all these are all handmade so i can also just imagine like an artisan like you know changing his technique from creating a thicker brush handle into a much more tapered handle design like this so it's more time consuming so i think in the long run um I think also Sonia G um, stated it on her article that her, um, her brush line is going to evolve. And I think we'll be seeing more of these tapered kind of a design on her handles more. And I think it's very obvious from her Lotus set, um, her of course her Sky set and her Pro set. So it's a very consistent brush handle design that we see from her. And also one other thing, I think um, there are some brushes that are going to be retired from her line. And I think maybe it's because of the unavailability of certain uh, materials like you know of certain hair types um, dyeing capabilities so um, her brush line I think is going to be evolving in the next few months or years even so it's quite an exciting time to see the evolution of her brush line but I'm just so happy that I have this with me today I have been waiting for this brush and I'm so glad that I was able to get it off of Beautylish so um, I actually shot this brush under natural sunlight and I'm going to insert it here because I just love the way the color gleams off of the handle. And I love the way that the color glistens from the bristle on the brush head. It's still very beautiful, very pretty. And the brush head here is made of dyed psycho hair. So it's very, very soft. And if you have sensitive skin, this might be very comfortable for you to use, um, even if it's very dense but it's actually still very soft and it has a way of just hugging every single plane of your skin. Now what I found so amazing about the Buffer Pro brush is the design on the brush head here. So if we just take a look at it closer, we can see that it has a dome shape here at the top. And it's not like your regular kabuki type of a brush head wherein it's a flat top. And I actually prefer brushes like this because when you actually load product here, especially here in the middle, um, when you apply it on your skin, it has a tendency of actually sinking and leveling well with the other bristles on the brush head and this enables you to actually blend the product out extremely well because sometimes what i've noticed and i've talked about this before is that when you have a flat top kabuki brush and then you load product here on the top especially here in the middle um, sometimes the weight of the product can actually weigh down the bristle and what happens is there's a concentration of product that happens here on the top and it's because of this concentration that when you start applying the product you tend to get patchiness certain parts of your face gets loaded with a different intensity of color and because the brush head here is actually like a domed shape um, when you get product here on top it weighs down the brush a little bit but it evens itself out wherein you're actually able to blend out the product evenly on the face so i'm so glad that this is a dome shape and the main reason why i decided to get the buffer pro brush is because i actually fell in love with the smooth buffer now the smooth buffer brush here is actually described to be as like the baby sister of the buffer pro brush and you know when i read that i said oh i think the buffer pro brush is going to be a nice addition into my brush kit because I love using this, especially for smaller pans. When I really want to buff color into the cheeks, may it be like, you know, um, bronzers, blushes, finishing powders, or certain type of blushes that are very difficult to pick up. I love using this. And because the brush head here is very small, it means I can only use it um, at a certain area of the face and for a much more condensed and a much more like you know targeted type of application on the face but with the buffer pro since the brush head here is actually bigger so this gives me the opportunity to actually apply a product in a much more bigger and a larger real estate on the face and i think i can also like apply much more sheer um, amount of color into the face and this is what I'm hoping to find out in this video okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to see how well this brush head actually applies color on the cheek so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this blush so this is from Colourpop and this is from their Sailor Moon collection there's this is Luna and Sailor Moon here at the front and um, the reason why I like to use this is because like you know it's uh, 
pressed powder type of a formula and we can also see how well this brush head can pick up such types of formulations. So what I'm going to do here right now is I'm just going to lay out my arm and then I'm just going to press the buffer pro brush here and as you guys can see here on the brush head it picks up an even amount of coverage and it also gives us an idea where the product of the blush is actually concentrated on the brush head so this gives us an idea of how we can actually use this brush on the cheeks but we're not going to use this on my cheeks today but we're going to use this on my arms so that we can see how well this applies and, and buffs out color on the face. All right, so I'm just swirling the brush and buffing it out. And we can instantly see how easy it is to actually apply the product and to blend it out at the same time. And we can see that this brush actually delivers a very nice diffused color on the skin fairly fast and very easy. And I'm also happy to say that, you know, you don't get a lot of residue here on the brush head. So we can say that this brush actually picks up a good amount of product and delivers a good amount of product on the skin as well. Now, just for comparison, this is a smooth buffer brush. And I'm also going to buff this into the blush. And I'm going to apply it right beside the smooth buffer brush so that we can see the difference on application. All right, so now we can see here that the smooth buffer brush does not actually pick up a ton of pigment in comparison to the buffer pro brush. So the smooth buffer brush will pick out a very minimal amount of color and still have this very nice diffused kind of application on the skin. And the buffer pro brush, basing on the difference of intensity, will actually pick up more pigment and it will actually deliver more color into the skin and it will also enable you to buff out the color and to blend it out without actually diminishing the opacity and the intensity of the product that you are using. Isn't that so amazing? Look at that. Both brushes are very similar. So if we just put the brush heads together, they have very similar brush heads design. They bloom very differently. But, you know, I could say that the smooth buffer brush it's actually much more softer. It doesn't feel as dense as the Buffer Pro brush because the Buffer Pro brush feels quite dense on my palm. But both of them are very, very soft and you don't really feel any prickling sensation at all. Oh, and one thing, by the way, if we look at the blush pan here, um, we can see a lot of some product disturbance from the Buffer Pro brush. And this is just an indication on how strong this brush actually is. And this can also be an indication for us to be careful when we are in, when we are using this brush for certain types of product, especially with the you know, color blushes, things like that, because this will pick up a ton of pigment. So it's best to use this brush with very light hand and build to the color and intensity lightly. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some foundation on my skin, but I'm going to do that off cam. And I'm also going to clean my Buffer Pro brush here on the um, microfiber towel because I have some products here on my table, which um, I think I'm going to be using together with this Buffer Pro brush. So um, let's tackle that in a bit, okay? So I have a thin layer of foundation down now. Um, I'm actually using the double wear foundation from Estee Lauder and I mixed two colors so that I can get a shade match. And um, the main reason why I'm using this is because um, it's actually matte enough and it's not super duper radiant. Um, and I really did this on purpose because 
um, I actually plan to use the Buffer Pro brush for finishing powders mostly and for perfecting powders. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today. So, But before we actually get into using the Buffer Pro brush for finishing powders, let's set this foundation first. And I'm going to be using Laura Mercier's um, setting powder for this. So I'm just going to pour a little bit here on the cap spread it out and I'm just going to tap the buffer pro brush here on the cap and let's just tap it gently on the skin I have to say the buffer pro is very soft on the skin I don't feel any prickling at all one thing that this brush was described to be the way it worked is that it will actually not disturb the underlying product when you're using this brush and I have to say that's true because sometimes if you have a very dense brush and you use it um, to set with powders sometimes there are some brushes in the market that can actually cause your foundations to streak especially if you're using foundations that are you know moisturizing or they don't really set that well on the skin and I think basing on this initial performance that this brush is an essential tool in your brush kit in order to help you to set your foundations without actually disturbing it all right, so this is actually great because, you know, I love the brush head. It really does the job of helping me apply setting powders because, like, you know, um, as I've said before in my early videos, um, the main reason why I don't really use a lot of powder brushes before is because I actually use a sponge to set my foundations with powder. And having a brush like this actually just, like, you know, mimics the same um, process that I do, performs in the same manner but it applies a much more sheer amount of powder on the skin so at least it will really help you to build the intensity and the coverage that you want all right so my setting powder is down and now what i want to do is i actually want to try to use this product so this is the candle glow sheer perfecting powder from laura mercier and i'm just going to press the brush here and i love that the brush head actually fits well into the pan and I'm just going to swirl the brush here. And I'm also happy to say that I don't see any product disturbance at all. But then again, this is a big gelée formula. So it really won't produce a lot of fallout. All right, so we have some of the product here. And I'm just going to buff out the powder here all over my skin. Now, I really love using the sheer perfecting powder from Laura Mercier, by the way, because it just has a way of making your skin look very radiant so if you're using matte foundations and you just want to add that hint of radiance especially if you're not planning of using any form of highlighters at all this is actually a nice product to use and i love that this brush actually applies a very balanced amount of product onto my skin Look at that, look how even it is. And it's very fast, very easy. I am amazed, look at that. So can you see the difference? So this is my skin with the sheer perfecting powder and this is without. So you can see the glow here, you can see the warmth. Here, you can still see my natural radiance but you don't have that overall glow that this brush actually delivered for this product. Hmm, I'm so happy with that. Okay, next, what I want to do is I'm going to try to use my Guerlain Meteorite in Doré on this part of my face, and I'm just going to swirl the brush here all over the pearls. And let's see if this brush is actually strong enough to pick up powder from the pearls. And I think I can see some. I can also smell the perfume now. And I'm just going to start buffing in the powder all over my skin oh it's applying the powder extremely well on my skin so because this is the doré powder we can see this hint of redness coming out hmm. and i'm actually happy to know that the buffer pro brush is actually able to pick up the powder from the guerlain meteorite pearls because you know the guerlain meteorites um they're quite dense so you really need a strong brush head in order to break down the powder directly from the pearls and I'm so glad that the buffer pro actually does that because I have a lot of Guerlain meteorites in my collection 
so beautiful so pretty and I just love the way that it just like you know disperses an even amount of color on the face and the way that this brush buffs out the product it's actually quite amazing all right now I'm going to try a bronzer and I'm going to be using this matte radiance um, baked powder this is also from Laura Mercier I love this and I'm just going to swirl the brush here on the pan and we can see that it picks up a good amount of product and I'm just going to apply it here in a bronzer kind of way and just like you know mix it and blend it well into my skin oh wow look at that look at how much product this brush head actually picks up it's quite deceiving actually so I really have to be very careful this is a nice learning experience for me I hope that you guys are also learning something from this video today Wow I'm so happy to say that this brush actually delivers a very even application of product on my skin no patchiness at all and you know it's very well diffused this is amazing this is great and now on this side of my face I'm going to be using this bronzer from Mars this is in Laguna and this is in a pressed powder type of a formula so it's not a baked gelée formula and I'm just going to swirl the brush here oh I can see that it picked up a ton of product and I'm just gonna apply it in a bronzer kind of way oh can you see how much fluff came out of the brush head so we have to be very careful with this brush because this picks up a ton of color and just like that it has a bronze toward me to the gods and it's again a very diffuse color very easy application and it hugs the right places so you can already see the contour happening here on my cheekbone so the brush actually hugged onto my cheekbone and it delivered a nice amount of color and intensity there and then it blended the color well into my cheekbone so it really does the job extremely well so before I blend out the bronzer on this side of my face I'm just gonna remove some of the product here on the microfiber towel so that we just have an even amount of color blended again we're gonna do some here in the perimeters of my non-existent hairline and here on my jawline oh wow I wasn't expecting this brush to apply this much product and even like in a pressed powder type of a formula it's actually able to pick up a ton of pigment and I just have to apply some loose translucent powder here just to blend out the edges all right so this is how the buffer pro brush applies a hard pressed bronzer product on my face and this is how the buffer pro brush applies big gelée bronzer products on my face very interesting I'm so glad that I did this video it's a nice like you know way of getting to know the buffer pro brush and I'm actually so very excited to try it out for work I think this is going to be one of my most favorite brushes to use now because I can use it in a variety of ways and I can also use it for a variety of products and formulas all right so that's it for me today guys i hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any more questions about how i use the buffer pro brush please leave them on the comments box and let's have a conversation about it anywho that's it for me today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here i hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye